finally have lights in the shed. Calves are all out. It's now time to change this cattle shed into a lambing shed. So the feed barriers are obviously all going to get changed as well. So this little catch will come up, this will flap down and then we'll take these two planks of wood out. So sheep are going to eat through here. But to start with, we need to muck it out. So we've started to take the boards out now with the feed barriers. So it'll give, a, give you a clearer sort of understanding that the sheep will eat out through that gap there. That's the plan anyway. So that's it as it was set up for the calves. And then that'll be how it's set up for the sheep. Well, these planks of wood will all be taken and stored inside just to keep them right. Um, I've numbered, numbered all the planks of wood as well so we know where they go. So it'll take a day or two to get everything swapped around and figured out. Davy's started clearing this uh, concrete bit here, concrete pass, just before the muck started to get a wee bit firmer. Um, so I can start washing the shed shortly, get the sheep gates in and the water troughs in for the sheep. As you can see here we have a pipe so there'll be uh, that'll be connected on the inside onto a sheep water trough for when the sheep are in here. So we obviously haven't got the water troughs in situ at the moment for the sheep because we thought the calves would stand on them, break them, do some damage likely and it would also get covered in muck. So they'll come in and out um, and swap just like the planks of wood for cattle and for sheep depending on what's in the shed at what time of year. Absolutely phenomenal day. Blue skies, I mean it's very windy but blue skies, the sun is shining, it is so mild and it is starting to slightly dry the tops of the ground. So not only are we mucking out the lambing shed, I'm also carting home bales of straw, <laughs> two at a time, because we haven't been able to get to this field. The ground is has been and is ridiculously wet. Like, like I hate to say it, but we're making a mess on this grass park a wee bit just at the gateway, so see, can kind of see the dubs there. Um, but we have to get the muck out. We have to put it somewhere, um, and we have to get these bales back because we're need to use them as well. So this is the first time we've been able to get this close. So carting out the muck. Muck is then getting left in the field there and then I'm taking bales of straw back home with me. Um, so, 
yeah that's today's plan it's such a lovely day it feels like spring long may this weather continue it just makes everything so much more enjoyable it's funny how as farmers the weather is literally the thing that can make or break your mood for that day honestly it is all determined on what either falls or shines in that sky so yeah anyway enjoying it whilst it lasts absolutely fantastic driving across the field here with the muck and i'm looking around all my ears here and they just look so happy out nibbling some grass in the sun perfect Her all mucked out again, ready to set up for the sheep. It's really quite emotional standing in here. Um, like, there's been a few things that have been finished off recently. We've got um, the lights in the shed, um, the cameras are all working, and now we've mucked it out, the calves are out, we've mucked it out, and we're going to start setting up for the sheep. And it's just wee things like this that I would, you know, take a picture and send it to mum and be like, that's, you know, this, that's this stage complete. We're ready for the next stage. Um, yeah, it's just little things like that that just catch you off guard and it's tough. I think another thing that makes it so hard, um, Obviously, like, it's still very raw, but everything's, like, still a first. Um, and, like, mum never got to see the shed complete. She never got to see the sheep in it. So it's going to be really tough. Oh, it's just not fair. <laughs> so I've had the shed mucked out probably about 15 minutes and Davy already has the new sheep gates and he's the way to set up for the sheep. Honestly, he's like a kid at Christmas. He's so excited. So this is one of the types of gates that we're gonna be using. This is a Ritchie gate uh, with an access gate. I need to explain it all once we've got it all set up. Um, but then this is another type of gate we're using. And he's rounded ones, round edges, round bottoms and again they'll get used for dividing the different sections for the sheep at lambing time and then switching it around for after lambing so this is going to become our handling setup in here with the tapari um, we've had some really interesting chats with Giles as well from tapari these gates will then get used along this concrete pass here um, in the summer months We've tried to make it that we'll, we can use as much of the gates as possible for both setups and obviously the feed barriers. That's what we've tried to do with the cattle setup and now the sheep setup. So, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, Davy, how excited are you about this? Oh, very excited. That excited, you can't even stop walking. <laughs> oh, you something else. So I knew Davy would get excited and has already started various different setups. So Davy's been building a few of the pens this afternoon. 
So you can see here they're going to be, they'll be five foot by five foot pens but there's a gate missing here at the moment because that's where the water drinker gates are going to go. So we're hoping to get a system that um, we get a water bowl that does two pens, save heaps of buckets. But yeah, it's fairly making the shed look long now. That's one row, there's another row of pens to go up. So this is the second pallet of new gates. We've gone for five foot pinning hurdles as opposed to we used to have hoopy gates and they were six foot. So we've gone for all five foot pinning. So we got these gates locally um, and I think they were coming in about 31 pound a gate. We also got the, these Ritchie access gates came from them as well. And then the slightly bigger rounded ones to match the lemon gate. He's so excited about this. If he could, I think he would have the sheep in tonight. So these are the water troughs that we are using for the sheep. Um, solid, good solid water troughs. So that's going to be bolted onto this beam here. And then we've got the water pipe down there, which will get connected on. So in between every two bays, the sheep will have one of them. So that'll cover two bays all the way down the shed. So they, that's them there. They obviously will be coming on and off um, for sheep and cattle, obviously. They're to get fitted this week. We're also getting the posts here at the edge of the concrete so we can set up all our dividing gates. So we're doing two bays, um, water drinker in the middle, and then lambing pens at the back. The lambing pens run down and then that's when our wee doors in the big doors come into play. So Davy set up a few here. You can see we're gonna have a passageway then created here. So when we get the yows and lambs are ready to go outside, they'll run up here. We'll have our trailer parked against that door. We'll get them straight out. It's the plan. It's starting to take shape now. Really looks more like a lambing shed. So we've just got a wee bit more power washing to do um, of the barriers, but the hose keeps freezing because it's been so cold. So hopefully we'll get going with that. The drinkers have been fitted. So these are the sheep drinkers. Just four bolts, hold them on and then connect it up there. So we'll see how they go. Uh, obviously they'll come off again when the cattle are back in, but for just now, they're good, they're strong, they're sturdy. Most have all been fitted too. So Charlie's made a very tidy job again. So this is our concrete pass area that we will swap around for summertime. So you can see there's extra lugs on here. Um, so we'll put gates all the way up this bit here, create a pass, and then we'll have the system and to parry in the middle. So yeah. But just now it's in lambing mode. So as I say, a few more gates to go up along here. Um, we've made it as well, so we've got access gates through to all the pens, just to make it a bit handier, you don't have to climb. So tidy up, finish washing the barriers, get a couple bits for things that are missing and get the sheep in. It's quite a thought, it is quite a thought. Just giving the barriers a quick wash. So I just want to keep them nice and clean, cleaning the planks of wood, and then we'll wet this and we'll give this floor a good uh, brush with a bucket brush as well. And then, yeah, get it bedded. I'm getting there. I have two more bays left to do. I can't feel my hands, I'm so cold. Um, and my jacket's not here, it's across at the farm. Great. Um, poor rocks. I think she's freezing as well. Dad came over with my jacket, so... <sighs> Warm again. And gloves.
we're ready for sheep. That is part one of the shed getting turned around for lambing time. So much going on, so much to change, but if you have any questions at all, please always feel free to pop them in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you for part two.